Hi everyone and welcome day 25 in the EPIC 2 program. Congratulations, we are halfway. Thank you so much all of you for motivating me, reading all of your comments whether it's on the Facebook community, on the YouTube or Instagram. It is motivating me to push through. Every time I'm struggling I just need to look at the camera and I envisage all of you joining with me. We all have those moments where you maybe think I can't do this. I certainly have. Maybe within sometimes the first five minutes. Oh my goodness, I've got so long to go. But you know what? You cut, you push through and about five minutes later, you're in the swing of it. You're relaxed, you're in the flow and you're feeling good. It's all about that pushing through. And before you know it, that 99%, you're there. So today's full body one hour dumbbell workout complexes. Each complex, two and a half minutes. The timer will be on two and a half minutes, but the break will be 45 seconds. 45 seconds for you to sort of recover, also take a drink and to look at the screen as to what is coming up next. All of these complexes involve only two exercises, so it's pretty simple. And a lot of them will be upper body combined with lower body. So you maybe be doing an upper body movement combined with maybe a lower body. A majority of the complexes also will be 10 reps of everything. However, there are some that are five reps and 20 reps. Of course, that will be on the screen. Complexes are very demanding. Go at your own pace. You will see me going at my own pace. You may go slightly faster than me, you may go slightly slower. It just depends on, of course, your ability, what you're used to and the weights that you have. There is no pressure with complexes. The aim is to try not to drop the dumbbells. However, if you do need a quick break, just set them down and then re-go when you're ready. Complexes are particularly demanding on your grip strength. You are holding the dumbbells throughout. So of course, when you can, you can either hold the dumbbells up here for your squats or by your sides or you can place it behind the neck if you have only one dumbbell, so it's like a barbell. All you will need for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells and a mat. The dumbbells I'm using for your reference are 10 kg and 10 kg. Optional is a chair, I'm gonna be using this one behind me, also with a booty band for some hip thrust. However, again, that is not necessary. As you can see here, you can simply perform bridges on the mat, or you can go to the chair for your hip thrust with the band. If you're using a band, make sure you're actually using it Push those knees apart. Aim the hips as high as you can. With the burpee dumbbells, you can step back instead of jumping. As you can see here, I am stepping back and stepping forward as opposed to jumping. So yes, certainly you can turn this workout into no jumping. There is only one combination of that. With complexes, there is an element of trying to pace yourself. So yes, get a burn on those first 10 reps and go at a pace that you are trying to sustain. And I think that's it. Let's smash this halfway point. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite full body workouts. And there really isn't a body part that we're not going to be hitting today. Let's go. I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red
from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to it and Still it feels like I pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end As my head
Thank <laughs> you.